Hey there folks, Scottsdale Travel Chick Sidekick here to tell you about our adventure to the McCall Eco Lodge outside Haco Beach, Costa Rica. This was a day excursion for us where we were looking for hikes we could do on our own, which is surprisingly hard in Costa Rica as almost all hiking is done with a guide and typically in a government-defined nature park. But after some extensive research, we found the McCall Lodge. It's an eco-lodge set deep in the Costa Rica jungle about an hour drive over rough back roads to get there. All right, so we are on our way to the McCall Lodge. Okay, so the drive out was miserable, but there were some beautiful scenic points and views along the way. But our video also sucks, so sorry about that. Between the humidity, the noise, and the bumpy roads, pretty hard to get some good video. I do hear the Costa Ricans call these kind of roads back road massages for tourists. So we've made it up the steep climb and decline up the hill. It took us less time than what we thought. And we are coming up to, we turned off the road. So this is about 400 meters, I think, about from the McCall Lodge. Super green, lush, gorgeous rainforest all the way through here. And our little four-wheel drive is treated as well, so that's good. <laughs> trying to hold this as still as I can. Oh, it's so beautiful up here. So worth the drive. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's worth the drive. Okay. Once you arrive, the lodge itself is quite beautiful and welcoming. The grounds are set on over 264 lush acres with various areas to explore. It's well known as a birding retreat area and they also do yoga retreats and nature programs for college students. The lodge itself is completely off the grid, but does have electricity for charging electronics, etc. We visited just for the day, and for a small fee, they will let you use their facilities and explore their grounds. You can learn how chocolate is made from local cacao, visit a butterfly garden, hike to a remote waterfall, visit some nature ponds, maybe even see some monkeys. We saw a lot of beautiful plants and vegetation during our trip, and also a lot of lizards and small insects, but unfortunately no monkeys during our trip. The primary hike at McCall Lodge is about a one and a half to two mile round trip hike out to a waterfall and then back through the rainforest and eventually passing through some local gardens, yoga pavilion, butterfly garden, etc.
we are at the Macaw Lodge, actually way behind us. We're doing this hike down to the waterfall and going through the rainforest to get there. As we travel, you can hear the birds and the trees. And I have heard some frogs in there. And anyhow, so we're getting closer. You can definitely, now I can actually see it through the trees. I wondered what she was doing, but I see she's trying to pose like Wonder Woman. So sexy. So we made it to the waterfall. Did not disappoint. Really beautiful. There's Greg. Anyway, you have to like kind of through the rain forest here to get here. From the Masala, it takes probably 30 minutes hiking. Not a bad hike, actually. It's pretty easy. But I think we have to go across this bridge here and then up through there to get back. It is hot, so we need water. We can not hear, but. <laughs> anyway, yep, it's beautiful. Okay, so we're making it back to the lodge. And there are quite a few steps here. You can tell. It's humid and hot, um, but well worth the trip down to the falls and back to the lodge. So have a nice big glass of ice water for us. Anyway, you can hear the falls below us. Really beautiful here. We enjoyed our excursion to the McCall Lodge and suggest you give them a try if you want to support the lodge and do a nice day trip from Hako, including a nice short waterfall hike with some beautiful rainforest surroundings. Until next time, see you later.